The purge of the Canadian Freedom Truckers is going on right now. It started last night. Tamara Litch and Chris Barber are two organizers of the convoys, and they were arrested last night. Um, several others, uh, there are videos going around showing several other peaceful protesters being arrested. And, um, and uh, it's just a get a pray for them. Hello and welcome to Sweet Home California. My name is Jennifer. And, um, you know, it's really, really startling the difference between how the, um, the truckers and those that are supporting them are being arrested versus uh, during the BLM riots. Um, these folks are just... They're just putting their hands behind their back and and they're accepting it. There's no yelling, there's no screaming. Uh, there's somebody that's recording and asking for badge numbers and names of the officers, but um, nobody's getting in anybody's faces. Nobody's threatening anybody. And um, and I think that is uh, that bodes definitely that bodes well for um, for keeping people on their side because um, you know. Myself as a conservative, I don't agree in in violence on this. I, I think that would totally ruin the cause. It would it would turn uh, people's minds away from uh, the conservative uh, movement. Um, we're fighting for freedom. We are we are not going to use force. We are going to get people on our side through uh, through peace and love and prayer, and just demonstrating that uh, that we're committed and that's what they're doing they are encouraging people to continue to protest lawfully they have restricted uh, a lot of the places in ottawa and so the remaining leadership is encouraging them to meet at a, another location and um, and so that's what they're doing they are moving to other locations where they can lawfully legally continue to protest so um Please pray for them. Also, there is a, uh, they are now starting to do uh, the freezing of the bank accounts. Um, TD Waterhouse, I had reported, had already frozen 1.4 million. Um, the finance minister in Canada uh, announced that um, that even more are being frozen. She would not answer, you know, whose accounts had been frozen. Somebody asked during the conference call, uh, during the news conference, asked, um, are the Folks that donated to Give, Send, Go and the GoFundMe accounts, they, they asked, are those folks going to be targeted for having their assets frozen as well? She would not answer that directly. She did say that the people who had donated were known and that that information had, be, had been passed on to the um, Royal Canadian Police Force. So, um, and, and she laughed. She laughed during the conference, you know, during some of these questions. These are people's lives. These are peaceful protesting. If we can't demonstrate things with our money and with our voices, then they are, it's, it's almost like they are really trying to provoke all out violence. And again, I don't advocate for violence at all. We need to be peaceful because that's what they want. If we become violent, then we lose all moral high ground. We lose all credibility. We lose all support. So don't do it. Don't fall into that trap. Okay? Just, you know, pray. Continue to support in any way that you can. Um, convoys in America, it looks like they may be coming. Um, I posted a article on my Sweet Home California uh, group page on Facebook. I'll put the link down below, and uh, if you have any other articles that you're aware of that you think are legitimate uh, news that you'd like to share, please uh, post that in the, the Sweet Home California Facebook group, okay? God bless, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.